Hello my garden gurus, I'm your plantologist Archie Warner. The shrub you are discovering today is the spilt wine Wygelia. And now that you've taken a few moments to read up on its basic habits, I'm going to get my pruners out and cut to the information on what really makes this shrub so special. To start out, if there was ever a plant in the garden that deserved the label of being cute, then the spilt wine Wygelia would be it. This shrub is not only well behaved by staying 30 inches tall and 3 foot wide, but it also boasts a truly remarkable blackish purple foliage color that will liven up any outdoor space. This bold color stays strong and doesn't fade through the summer's heat, providing a bold contrast with the greens in our landscape. In late spring, the spilt wine Wygelia provides another dramatic contrast, as numerous fuchsia colored trumpet shaped flowers emerge and stand proud of its dark foliage. These flowers' bright colors attract numerous hummingbirds and butterflies that flutter around while collecting its sweet nectar. The spilt wine Wygelia isn't just beautiful and well-behaved, it's also very easy to grow and low maintenance. This shrub can tolerate almost any soil conditions with the exception of overly saturated clays and still perform wonderfully. It works great when planted in hot sunny areas around the landscape and also can tolerate part shady spots as long as it receives four hours of sun a day. The spilt wine Wygelia needs very little trimming to stay neat and compact, only requiring a light prune after blooming. This plant is also very deer resistant and a perfect choice to plant when others have become deer food. The spilt wine Wygelia is a remarkable plant for so many reasons. Its compact size and ability to offer a total season color display provides endless possibilities in the landscape. The spilt wine Wygelia works great when planted as a border plant on the outside edge of landscape beds and also looks stunning when planted in mass groupings to fill up bed space with taller green shrubs as a backdrop. Well, so long my garden gurus, and as always, if you would ever like additional help, please never hesitate to ask.